Welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. Thank y'all so much for coming over now. I'm making this face because I, I'm like, Ray J? <laughs> Ain't this? Now, remember, I was like, I wonder how many people are going to say something. How many of Diddy friends or people he partied with or used to party with him are going to say something? But of all people, Ray J? I know there was some some questions about you know him and Whitney Houston. That's for another video. But what the what the hell Ray J got to say? Cause I know this dude and Diddy was all right. Back on the Art of Dialogue channel. We ain't gonna waste no more time. Shout out to all the good humans. Let's jump right into it. How you feel about everything that's going on with Diddy right now? Glasses it's just on. not okay. And, you know, when somebody is... A Glasses on. The eyes lie. I tell y'all, people doing interview and sunglasses. It's bright lights in here. You know what I mean? That's already looking bad. Around somebody and we're counting on them to be our... One of our leaders in... A space that we're all trying to get to that's not acceptable to do and um it's not okay i mean it might be forgivable in the sense of a spiritual realm of life or forgive everybody but it's unforgettable and that's where you just draw the line on friendship and hanging out and, and supporting and being cool it's like niggas it's done you know and that's it yeah that video okay Cause I don't want to be, this is a short video. I don't want to pause it too much. He's saying all the right things. I just don't think it's the right person to be saying it. But what he just said right there. So I don't know what's going to happen to Diddy. But if you are at another party or seen with him. Ray J, because you just said that. Yo, was out of pocket, man. It should never get to that point where you stumping a female, man. It's not okay, man. And it's not, and it's not something that niggas can just take lightly, you know? Cannot do that. Not okay. Niggas is not cool. Period. You know it, Diddy, personally. Was you surprised when you seen that video? Heartbreaking. Wow. And shameful. See, he ignored everything else. Facts. And unacceptable. I've never seen nothing like that. I've never seen nothing like that in the, in the history of my life. So, that's a new for me. I don't know what kind of demon you are, but, you know, somebody need to motherfucking form an exorcism fast. Yeah, I feel you, man. I mean, I'm still in disbelief about what I seen. To see him kicking her like that, man. Yeah, that was crazy, man. It, there's no, there, there's no place in, in that. And for somebody like me or anybody to say what I'm saying, they better not have had something like that happen. You get what I'm saying? Because now they didn't put their whole self at risk with being honest. You know what I'm saying? It's like people watch these reality shows and you see certain people arguing and shit get a little tense right on reality but there's a there's a certain level of where you don't go you get what i'm saying and this and that just do not go together it just doesn't you can't compare this of you know a, a back and forth verbal whatever it is in a sense of having a disagreement right and, and even getting too loud at this point is not even okay. But that is way on another page of somebody yelling or screaming. That is not, that's not humane. You think it's over for him? Good it's not question. about that. It's just about, you know, 
know, life, life in this industry goes on without certain people because their membership club is revoked. Their membership in the club is revoked. It's, it's over. He just asked you that. So you don't have room to make mistakes like that in the, in the big club. You can't do that. You can't. It's inexcusable. He just said a lot right there. What you mean by that when you say his membership is revoked? Meaning... Come on, spit it out. If you threw a party tonight, the people on your in, in, invitation list, that club, the people that throw a party tomorrow or a foundation um, for could be anything, anything that that um that has substance to it, right? It's no longer available for certain people to be invited to or, or welcome. Yeah, throwing a party should be the last thing or being invited to a party should be the last thing on Diddy's mind. Um, I, I understand everything he's saying. I just feel like um, a lot of people I've, that were close to Diddy like how he said it was heartbreaking to see him do that. I believe he's, I believe a lot of them have seen some stuff, you know, or, or maybe they just seen like the side of Diddy where like he's with guys, but maybe they never seen this side of him, like being aggressive with women. Maybe, maybe, maybe that was shocking to him. But there's there's no way, no way. Out of all of these years and all these people that have been talking, that this brother ain't at least heard of. That's my whole thing. It's like people may hear about the rumors of Diddy. Like, oh yeah, he be doing this, he be doing that. And then people be like, ah nah, you know, I gotta see it for myself. People just can't take the word. And then when, when they see that video, they're like, dang, I've been around this dude all this time and this stuff went down. Or a lot of them partake in it. But we gonna see, right? We we shall see as far as what's gonna happen to Diddy. And cause like I said, if this man throws another party, uh, uh, I didn't go to jail party, and you see all these people there, telling you it's crazy man but all right hey appreciate you guys coming over and watching man like share and subscribe peace out